We understand that we will be closed until that happens. But many. And we understand why we are closed. We understand that it's for the public safety and for our own safety. But what we are asking here today is to be heard and to be seen as that standalone economy that we are. We contribute an estimated $1 trillion into the U.S. economy alone. There's people in charge of catering or hospitality. There's security. There's uh, the booking agent. We got guitar techs. We got drum techs. We got a guy selling merchandise. So obviously, they don't make the same pay that I make, you know. And I might be able to survive something like this. But uh, you can't help but wonder how these people from the bottom up are surviving. The call to action to bring people together in solidarity to make a difference. We don't just create experiences and cool events, we're creating memories. For us to send this SOS, for us strong-minded, hard-headed problem solvers to advocate for federal support as our number one solution during this time of uncertainty means this is serious. This is different. We need our representatives in the local, state, and national government to hear our voices, to hear our stories, to feel our pain. and fight for live events and we all need to come together and to fight and I believe that you know in every human being there's the and earlier we had a summer tour in Europe canceled we had a bunch of dates around the holidays on hold it's not not gonna happen um, but you know I mean I'm just trying to be patient and do my time you know and trust the, the process um, I err more to the safe side of this than a lot of people and I'm not afraid to you know talk about that. Yeah.